Hey, how's it going? And today I just wanted to explore, I was exploring how we could toggle the visibility of a UI widget off and on. And I actually ran into some problems. And so I had to kind of create a little different way of doing it. So it's this is not 100% the way it should be, but it's just for instructional purposes only. So what we have is if we come into the, the game, I have to start fresh here. And I go start game. This is what we've got. So I come in and you see there's my progress bar up there on the top and it's working perfectly. No problems at all. My score is incrementing. But then let's say I wanted to give the player the ability to toggle that off. So if they come over here to a button, I, they can go E and it goes off and E, it comes back on, off, on, off, on, off, on. So that's cool, right? That the player has that control. Well, I'm not exactly toggling the visibility 100%. So this is what's curious to me, and I'll show you the problem I ran into. So this is all in the code. One of the things that I realized is that when we're doing this, creating this UI, that we need to put this up here, our actual, I don't know what you want to call them, our actual UI objects we want to, or elements, we want to instantiate them up here, not within this, the body of this method down here. Because this method won't work if we don't. So as many slots as you've got objects in here, you want to have that many up here like if you've got a text block or a button or whatever it is you've got make sure you instantiate them up here and then what we have is i also added a variable called my switch and i'm setting it to false so this is kind of the star of the show right here is this toggle visible function so when the button's pressed i added a button interacted with event subscribe to this method down here toggle visible and so what happens is it's set to false initially here it's set to false so when it comes in it's gonna this will be true so this will succeed and what we'll do is we'll make a call to my create my UI and then we'll assign that to new UI then once we have new UI we can go set visibility invisibility widget visibility dot hidden and if I hit control you'll see that this is really an enumerator and we can call visible collapsed or hidden so so that's fine and then what we do is I set the my switch back to true to true so that the next time the buttons pressed this is gonna fail and we're gonna jump down here to the else well what I had done originally this is what it looked like originally let me just let me just scooch this in here a little bit. This is what I had written originally right here. So when it was coming back for the second button press, I was literally doing the exact same code, except all I did was change it from from hidden to to visible here. And then set it to true. But this did not work this does not work and so it's all very curious and as a matter of fact I'll, let me just let me just show you that it doesn't work so let me just control x this over here and i'll just pop this down here and then what we'll do is let me bracket this out here so i can show you this it's probably easier if i show you this so then we have this code here. You would think that this would work because it's the, because this all works, right? I mean, so this works, but then when we press the button again, I should be able to go visible, set the, this would actually be set to false. Yeah, so this would be set to false actually. 
Okay, so this would create a toggle switch where they, it comes in false, it's true, it goes off, it's hidden. Then they press it again, it's true now, so this fails, it drops down here, it should go to visible. And then I set it back to false, so the next time it comes in true. So this is just a toggle switch situation here. And we're just toggling between hidden and visible. But watch what happens. Watch what happens when I do this. So I'm going to come up here and build the verse code in the game. And we'll just push these changes. It doesn't take very long. Push the changes. And this part goes actually pretty fast when you're just changing the verse code. Okay, so let's come in here and see what happens. So I'll go start game. And there's our progress bar and it's working just fine. Now I'll come over here and I'll press the button and it goes off. But then when I press it again, see, it doesn't, nothing happens. It never, it doesn't come back. So I think that's a glitch because that doesn't make any sense to me why this would not reappear. It doesn't make any logical sense why this wouldn't work. You know, we set it to hidden, it works. But then how come when we set it to visible, we haven't removed the widget. How come when we set it to visible, it doesn't come back on? After playing around with it, what I did was, this is the code that I wrote here, was I just wrote, I kind of just copied this section up here when we initialized the player UI for the very first time, and I just did it again. So here, I almost just like create a new UI again. I don't know if you're familiar with Unreal Engine, but when you create a widget and you don't remove it, the widgets keep piling on top of each other. But here, that doesn't happen. So I don't see the widgets piling up on top of each other. But this does bring the widget back. And this way works. So if I come in here and I'll go to verse code, build it, push the changes, now it'll work. So there's my progress bar and it's working just fine. And then I come over here to the button and I press it, it goes off, it comes back, off, on, off, on. And I don't see if that widget was being overlaid on top of over itself, you would see the score getting darker. Those would be piling up on top of each other, but you don't see that happening. So anyway, this way works, although I don't feel it's 100% correct, but in some future edition, I should be able to just turn it back on just repeat this code essentially up here and just change it to visible. But anyway, so anyway, take care. Have a great day and I'll talk to you next time.